On behalf of Manchester City and Manchester United, I would like to apologise for stealing the last two hours of your life. Man United nil, Man City nil, in what has to be one of the dullest United games you will ever watch. And it's really, you know what's annoyed me about that game? Not really the performance or, we needed that against Leipzig during the week, just a little, it wasn't a little, just a solid team performance, not really doing too much, keep it tight, don't really give too much away. It's exactly what we needed to do against Leipzig during the week. And we went 2-0 down within seven minutes. Against City today, we had it for the full 90 minutes, but our solidity in defence and midfield, because we played two holding midfielders, really, in, in Fred and McTominay, it nullified City, but it also nullified United going forward. It was two teams who were more scared to lose today than win the game. Both Solskjaer and Guardiola, conservative in the approach to players, conservative in the football that they're doing. And because we played the same way, we nullified each other. And it was just a mirrored game of football on both sides of the pitch, with neither team really providing any sort of spark. Everybody had half chances. De Bruyne had a couple. Mahrez had one. McTominay had one. Rashford had a couple. Bruno had a couple of shots. But... <sighs> what an awful game of entertaining football. It's a result which I think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will be happy with. And, and in a results-driven business, I think we'll all be okay with drawing against City at home. Uh, but City were there for the taking today. City are, are not the City that we've seen in the last few years. I think they've lost a massive bit of spark. Everybody has this season. Look, West Ham are fifth. We're still a few points off top. Only a few points, though. Every team is gettable this year. And this Man City team now is massively gettable. But the problem is, is that when you play Fred and McTominay, it gives you that defensive cover. But it takes away from the team going forward. Donny van der Beek has to be scratching his head now. Because of everything that's happened. Look, Paul Pogba today... Up there with one of the best performers for United. So he warranted his start by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. But if you're Donny van der Beek sitting there thinking, what have I got to do to get into the team? And you see Paul Pogba being given a start only a couple of weeks or a week or so after Riola's comments in public disrespecting and undermining Solskjaer and United. And then Pogba starts after that. Van der Beek must think, what the hell have I got to do to start? Maybe he's shagging Moyes' daughter as well. <sighs> I don't know. I think that team, that... As I said, that's the, th the thing that annoys me about that game is that we needed that performance against Leipzig and we didn't have any, any hint of that control against Leipzig. But it was very much like watching Louis van Gaal football at times. Every time he went to wan or Shaw, it just came back to Maguire and Lindelof and it went across the back four, four or five times before it went forward. Inevitably, the attack died because we don't... Bruno Fernandes was almost playing left wing and then right wing. He was playing very wide. I'm not sure whether that was to accommodate Paul Pogba or not, but Bruno Fernandes didn't have his best game. Kevin De Bruyne didn't have his best game. As I said, all 22 players responsible for what was a very dull game of football. Nobody really offered a spark. Nobody really offered any sort of individual moment of brilliance which, is, which can sort of open up these tense, nervous affairs. And derbies are nervous games. It's a match where you... you, you you're going into it, you can't afford to lose it. And I think that really reflected the football that we saw today. And it reflects where Man City and Man United are at the moment. Because if City were really gunning for the title, obviously they're going to be going for the title. But if City were playing how we know City can play, they would have come at us a lot more. And if United played how we've seen us play this season, we would have been much better as well. But Rashford, questionable whether he's a striker or not still. Honestly, I think... If you give him no time on the ball and he has no time to think about his decision, he's much better, but he does have time. I don't know. I just don't think he's that good in that situation. Mason Greenwood, I thought he was okay. Everybody was really okay. I think my man of the match probably was Luke Shaw. I think he really squared up. He held his, def he held his position very well. few good interceptions, smart moves. He defended very well today. I think Harry Maguire defended very well, but his ability with the ball... From the back is horrendous. Every time that Maguire got the ball, he would faint and dummy and then put it on his left foot, chip it over, and it would go back to Man City, and then it would come straight back towards us. 
We can't play out from the back with the ball, and we couldn't knock it long because we didn't have anybody big enough up front to win the ball. Had we had Cavani there, we may have seen a different last 20 minutes in a different option. But Martial and Rashford, very similar players. Greenwood, similar style of player as well. And Bruno, as I said, a muted game today. And when Bruno has a muted game, United have a muted game. And that, it's, it's me being polite, calling that a muted game. It really was crap. Not entertaining whatsoever. The Newcastle West Brom game was better than that. The Wolves Aston Villa game was better than that. And no doubt the Everton Chelsea game later this evening will probably be better than that as well. Ultimately, I think it's a result that Solskjaer will be happy with. And if you're looking at it strictly as a results driven business, that's a result that United, we, we can take. We can take that and move on. Because losing today was certainly more damaging than what a win would have brought, if you know what I mean. I, I think Solskjaer, I understood why he decided not to risk that. And also, quick quick stop here for saying, what the hell was Raheem Sterling's haircut about? It's horrendous. Looked like Coolio, but worse. But United there today, as I said, I, I felt like we could have got to City. We really could have got to City, but we didn't want to. We didn't want to risk it. We wanted to have McTominay and Fred protecting the defence, and we kept it like that for the full 90 minutes. You could have brought on Van der Beek and switched it up. Solskjaer didn't want to. You could have brought on Martial a bit earlier, maybe taken off a midfielder and had a fourth attacker on, but it was a straight swap for Greenwood. As I said, it was a conservative game, a conservative approach, and a conservative result. Nil-nil. Both teams very dull. It wasn't just United. It was certainly Man City as well. We move on to the next one. Let me know what your thoughts are after the game. I'll be honest, there probably won't be that many thoughts. I'll be surprised if any of you are stuck around for seven minutes to hear my match reaction after that 90 minutes of boring football. But some of you may. So if you do, make sure you drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. But let's move on from that one. But at least we didn't lose the City. And I suppose that's got to be the main takeaway from today. Mm -hmm.